Good afternoon and welcome to Customer Effects Training Webinars. My name is Dale Richter and today we're going to be talking about the SalesLogix Web Client Marketing Campaigns. This is part one, creating a new campaign. Let me switch over here to my web client. And in the web client, I'm going to choose the marketing group of icons down the left hand side. And in there, I'm able to access campaigns. When I open up my campaign window, it brings me directly to the list view of campaigns. And I'm going to choose any campaign in here by clicking on the hyperlink. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, there's many different parts of a campaign, including stages and tasks and our responses and our targets. I want to just uh, quickly, we'll go over inserting a new campaign here and filling out all the fields at the top part of the screen. So to create a new campaign, I'm just going to go up to my new icon up at the top of the screen and choose new campaign. When I do that, it brings up the insert campaign dialog box. In here, we have a campaign name that we can put in. And this is just freehand text, so whatever you wish to put in here. Let me see, I'll call my campaign year and um, closeout. The description of the campaign is going to be year and close out of inventory. Objective, clear out inventory. And our call to action then is once we do our campaign, what is the call to action we're asking our clients to do? Are we asking them to hit a website? Are we asking them to um, make a phone call? Are we asking them to do a return mailing? What are we actually asking in this campaign? So I'm going to say um, go to website here and register. Our lead source then, we can associate this with the lead source if I click on the magnifying glass over on the right hand side here and again I'll click on the magnifying glass here to see my lead sources and I'm just going to associate this with my general advertising. Over on the right hand side then we have several different statuses. If we're setting out this up way in advance we can leave it in the setup status. If we want to make it active right away we can certainly do that also. So I'm just going to make this one active. Now with our code I usually put in something that relates to the campaign name like the first letter of each one of the words in the code. So I'm going to put in Y-E-C for year end closeout. And then I always put in a date. So I'm going to put in 0224 of 10. Start date. When does our campaign actually start? I'll put this out at the end of the week here. And when does it end? I'll put it out two months. The manager um, is going to be me, the administrator in this case, so I'll just leave it there. And then the owner is who's going to have access to this campaign. So right now I have it set to everyone and I'll leave it set to everyone, but we can certainly change that to teams of users or to an individual user. Now I want to make sure to save my data before I move on, so I'm just going to click on save here. And when it saves my campaign, then you see that it brings us into a detail view showing all that information that I set up up at the top part of the screen. From this point on, uh, we would set up our stages and our tasks, uh, set up our targets, and then get our responses. So in part two of marketing campaigns, you'll see how to set up different stages and tasks and how to set up your target list. Thank you for joining me and make sure you look for part two of marketing campaigns. Have a great day.